to start from the top? Mm -hmm. This is a new, uh, some, uh, this came out uh, August 10th, Psychology Today. Became another outlet reporting on what's been defined as male loneliness. So Dr. Matos uh, wrote, men are the loneliest they've ever been in generations and it's probably getting worse. And this talks about how many men are alone. Um, of course, the complications that come with that being unhappy, not always. Now I'm going to speak right now in some generalizations, just to be clear. This does not mean all women and this does not mean all men, but men often remarry more soon than women when they get divorced. Widowers tend to die more soon after they lose their spouse. Uh, spouse. Quicker. I'm watching Selter. <laughs> more quickly. Spouse uh, after uh, their, their wife dies. And here's why. And I want to be clear about something because a lot of young men, record number of men, they don't want to get married. And a lot of women are upset by that. Um, but at a certain point, you do need to accept some culpability some responsibility. And I'm going to get to what men need to do as well. But here's the thing. I've never seen a pastor in a church call women to the mat. No one's doing it because women get upset about it. Men are constantly called to the mat. We are constantly told what we need to be as a man, what we need to be as a provider, as a good father. I mean, you think about even at my church on Mother's Day, right? The women get flowers and you know, they have the kids go up and pay and you donate. So you send them flowers. And then the man gets a paper mache hat like he's a French clown from Sunday school. It's like oh, a bird feeder made out of popsicle sticks and toxic glue. Thank you. The point is, men are constantly being browbeaten. And the questions of, well, hold on a second. Women, what role do you think you play in the reason that men don't want to get married? Now, let me go back to men get homesick more quickly. Let me explain to you why that is, at least why I think it is. Um, men love their women, just to be clear. Women, this is also a part of the problem. It's an emotional and spiritual void that men often are seeking to fill with women rather than a practical one. That doesn't mean that there's no emotional void, or spiritual void being filled uh, for women by men. I'm not saying that. But there are, generally speaking, more practical reasons for a woman to seek out a mate and a man. If we reduce it back to its most basic times, nomadic tribesmen, which you see in a program like Alone, men don't really need a woman. They want a woman. Look at Adam and Eve. Let's just say you don't believe. Okay, fine. I do. But let's just say you think it's an archetype. Let's just say you think it's a parable. Okay, fine. An Aesop fable, if you will. Adam existed alone. And God said, for man to be alone is not good. So he gave him woman to complement him, to complete him. Woman never existed without man. Now, let's look at the divorce stats. 80%. The most recent number is 80%. The lowest you'll find historically is 66% of Divorces are filed by women. Let's split the difference, call it 70, 75%. That means three quarters of divorces in this country are filed by women, not by men. By the way, less than 30 of those when women are being uh, polled cite infidelity or abuse. Infidelity or abuse have gone down. Women file for divorce at higher rates. Why aren't men? It's the same reason that men get homesick more quickly. They're looking to fill an emotional, a spiritual void with a woman, where sometimes a man can be chewed up, spit out, because he's fulfilled his practical purpose. They don't need a woman, most men, but we yearn for one. We yearn for one. This is why you see more gold-digging females than males. Doesn't mean that it doesn't happen, but far more women will marry a man, use the resources, and leave him. This is what I think we're dealing with here. And all of the dynamics, which we have claimed to be archaic and patriarchal and are actually beautiful, understanding the premise that men love their women, that they yearn for them, that they get more homesick, they miss their women often more than the women miss their men. Understanding that it comes from a, a place of love, let's also distill this a little bit. Take away uh, divorce laws, take away modern conveniences. We'll reduce it to nomadic tribesmen, okay. What would a man need to do back then in order to attract a woman? That's the question. Women control access to sex. Men control access to relationships. And then the question for a woman is, what would a woman need to do back then, without the modern conveniences and court system, what would a woman need to do to keep a man? That's the dance. A man needs to prove himself to a woman as a suitable mate. Look at Native American tribes. Look at every society since the beginning of ever. Look at the animal kingdom. For crying out loud, the black widow male needs to prove himself suitable, and he knows the bitch is going to eat him. <laughs> <laughs> a man it. needs to prove himself worthy of being a mate for a woman uh, by largely being a suitable protector and provider. Okay? That's what he needs to prove. 
which by the way, men, to hold you accountable, this is why there are no men who are procreating eating Cheeto jerky in mom's teepee, right? You do have to be a provider and protector. You can't be a deadbeat, so you're not off the hook there either. Now, the proving process for women, though it may not seem fair because it's longer, is the keeping of a mate. Because ironically, once a man proves himself to be a worthy mate, he's now more desirable to other women. So the question is, how does a man attract a woman? This is the dance. This is the relationship dance. How does a woman keep a man? Because he can go from TP to TP like Little Bear. How does she keep a man? Love, kindness, warmth, loyalty. It's an emotional currency, men, you can comment below, that we value. And most men, not all, I'm speaking in some generalizations, will stay with a woman who exhibits those qualities. Again, men desperately want a woman. This is why they get homesick, the men who love their wives. This is why they yearn, this is why they, get, they die when their wives die, very soon after. It's why they remarry soon after they get divorced, often losing their shirt in the process. They desperately want a woman and a wife. The problem is we have a record number of females who have no interest in being either of those. So, like I just said, if a man needed to prove himself to uh, a mate back then, he couldn't just be sitting there eating jerky in his mom's uh, basement TV. Okay. Take away the divorce laws. Take away the modern conveniences. Again, women, you have to accept, men aren't marrying you. And men are, they're unhappy because of it. They're unhappy because they're alone, but they're alone because of you. Because if you get rid of these modern conveniences and the very unfair divorce laws that men have discussed, where you forfeit your rights as a father, this happens a lot. You can go watch other people on YouTube who specialize in this. You know what a woman never did? If she knew that her husband could leave for the winter and maybe not come back, and she couldn't sue him, take all his stuff, she didn't yell. She wouldn't nag. She wouldn't manipulate. For the same reason that if you reduce modern conveniences to nomadic tribesmen, and I'm glad that we're better than that and we've advanced, I'm just using this as a thought experiment, for that same reason, the man who provides nothing, who fights for nothing, would never find himself a mate. It all stems from a deep, deep love that men have for women and a place of yearning for that woman. Let's get rid of the modern conveniences. Let's get rid of all the laws. Let's get rid of all of these attempts at social engineering. It's two questions. What would a man need to do or what does a man need to do to get a woman to prove himself suitable? And what does a woman need to do to keep a man? That's the natural order of things. You can fight it all you want, but none of you are happy because of it.